Hey Sag, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Um, let's just go ahead and hop into it. Also too, um, there will be an extended at the end of the reading where we go over everything pertaining to your partner. Um, I am doing one or two question readings. The link for that will be in the description below, which is a more affordable option. And I'm also doing uh, 30 minute readings as well. All the information will be in the description below. All right, let's just go ahead and hop into it. What's the current situation romantically? Sag's current situation romantically. I feel like there's somebody new coming in here, possibly um, an Aquarius. This person may be at a distance from you. Also can be an Aries or um, here's your energy too, Sag. I feel like there's somebody that either you've been watching or that um, has been watching you. And I feel like this may be somebody who you watch on social media. Um, but I also feel like this person is very upbeat. They're very happy. They have a lot of positive energy here. And I feel like this person is very attractive or you are very attracted to them. What is the current situation romantically with Sag and their person of interest? Okay. I do feel like though, either you or your partner and it may be on your end too, Sag, where I feel like there's something that's not being said here and somebody's having a hard time moving on from the past, right? Nine of Swords, that's definitely Gemini energy. And that's being caught in a place where, um, you know, your thoughts are consuming you. I feel like there's a level of depression here. There's, there's a lack of conversation. And I feel like it's over some type of... Um, I don't want to say phobia, but it's like being scared to actually love somebody because there is some type of movement here, but it's like there's movement and then it's a stall, right? And I do feel like with the King of Cups in the middle of it, that's Scorpio um, or Leo energy, in my opinion. It's the current situation romantically with Sag and their person. Okay, you guys have the Divine, Judgment, and the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> How does this make Sag feel? How does this make Sag feel? Okay, High Priestess. Ace of Cups. King of Wands. Okay, here's what I think, okay? So now that I see what the hell's going on, first things first, I feel like in the past you've watched somebody and you've wanted this person, but for whatever reason, I feel like the timing wasn't exactly right. For some of you guys, you're watching this person succeed or this person is watching you on social media, watching you succeed. Somebody wants to send um, a message. However, I do feel like somebody is 100% holding back here and it's because they're like stuck in their head. I feel like currently though, you guys are kind of out in the prowl feeling good and I feel like you're meeting somebody or you are going to meet somebody in it. For some of you guys, it's definitely somebody new coming in, especially with the Ace of Cups here. And I feel like it's somebody that you don't know, okay, with the High Priestess energy, possibly a Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, or a Leo. I feel like, first of all, let me, let me go back. I feel like there's two people coming in. One person is somebody from your past that wants to come forward and talk to you. I feel like this is somebody that was emotionally, um, I don't want to say emotionally abusive, but I feel like they played with your emotions. Like, I feel like whoever this past person is with judgment here, it's like they're coming back to finally try to say something to you in order to get you back on their same page. However, I do feel like with all this communication coming in, and I feel like it's positive communication because it's the Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sag, and you may be communicating, but I feel like you're communicating with more than one person. And I feel like there's some type of balance here. And I also feel like you're gonna be walking away from somebody from your past, especially with the Eight of Cups. There's a lot of sexual energy though. You're very attracted to somebody King and Queen of Wands. This 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 other person coming in, they're 100%, I feel like, your better half. But I do think you may need to walk away from a Pisces, possibly. There's a lesson here. And it's almost like not crying over spilled milk and having some type of forward movement. 
So that's what I'm picking up for your situation. But I do think coming in, you are going to have a lot of people, a lot of conversations. And whatever you were worried about in the past, it's like that's no longer coming into the future. Okay. Who is Sag? Who, who is their partner? Who's coming in romantically? Who's coming in romantically for Sag, please? Who's coming in romantically when it comes to Sagittarius? Who's coming in romantically for Sag? Who's coming in? romantically who's coming in romantically whoa shit beautiful possibly a scorpio or somebody somebody from your past okay six of wands it's somebody that is uh freshly single and i also feel like too it's a lot of your guys's energy uh nine of wands it's somebody that maybe you've watched and waited for or this is somebody that's been waiting for you they may um be a leo a Scorpio, um, this is Jupiter in Leo, and this is also the Nine of Wands, which is um, Moon in Sag. So somebody told me in one of the comments, like I focus on the signs, but I feel like if you understand what Moon in Sag is, you have a better understanding of this person's actions. This person has a level of distance in between the two of you, but it's like they're watching you, they're stalking you, and they're hella independent, <clears throat> extremely independent. This is somebody that's very successful, I feel like. Um, they can be a little bit egotistical, but honestly, this is somebody who tends to win. And this may be somebody from childhood, or this may be some type of past, past life connection. With the Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, this is your person. They may have recently got out of some type of long-term commitment, um, one that's hurt them really, really bad. And I feel like this person is being forced to move forward, but I feel like it's a lot of Leo energy. So this person is very focused on you. This person is very confident, but they know what they want. And I feel like Sag, like they want your ass for sure. That's coming in very strongly. I do feel like though, with the seven of pentacles, there's something that this person, it's like, they may have stopped investing prior into some type of relationship, or they may have just been very focused on their finances. And they may have put you in some type of third party situation or they may be married. And finally, it's like they're getting ready to end some type of solid long term connection that they've been in. OK, so we have the seven of cups, the five of wands and the chariot. I think for you guys, though, when it does come to this person, I feel like you're kind of up in the air. And I feel like the reason you're up in the air is because there's been a lot of confrontation and a lot of conflict when it does come with this person. And the fact that this person was dealing with more than one person or had you in some type of third party situation, I think that that's, that upset you and you wanted to move away from that. And I feel like for you, you're kind of sitting here like, well, why all of a sudden do you want to make things work? You're the one that wanted to go off on your own. You're the one that wanted to deal with multiple people. And now that I've moved on, all of a sudden, you're trying to come back. And I also feel like too, um, Sag, as much as maybe you want to sleep with this person, four of wands here that's venus and aries like there is a very strong physical connection to this person i feel like you know that this person is not going to leave what they've been stuck in for a period of time because i do feel like for some of you guys this is an older person this is somebody that is in a committed relationship already and your relationship with them is a very sexual one you may have met them at work or on social media but I also feel like too, with the Ace of Cups here, you know that there's somebody new that's coming in for you that's ultimately gonna be better for you. I also feel like when it does come to this person, you've waited for an offer for a period of time, but I feel like this person tends to breadcrumb you. It's like start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. And I feel like for you, you do really love and care about this person, but you also understand that there is some type of lesson here um, for the two of you. And I feel like there is a level of forgiveness that needs to happen in order for you and this person to, wait, to work out. However, for some reason, Sag, I feel like you're angry. 
I feel like you're angry with how things turned out with them. And I think that you're having a hard time forgetting about the connection. And I feel like you may have even went through and deleted everything that reminded you of this person. That's also something that I'm getting. But for whatever reason, your person is now coming in where it's like they want to make you some type of offer because now that they're worried because you're moving on. All right. And just so you guys know, in the extended, we get more into who your person is and all that jazz. Okay. Let's see what's blocking this connection. What's the current block for a Sag and this person romantically? What's currently blocking this connection? Ooh, page of Wands. It's, it's a sexual one. The Lovers, possibly a Gemini, Libra, Taurus. Somebody may be pregnant or this can be somebody that's already in a committed relationship. See, the Queen of Pentacles is in the center with the moon. There's, there's a lot that you don't know about this person. And for whatever the reasoning is, it's like they don't want to talk about it. And I feel like they leave a lot out, especially with the Six of Swords here. It's like they tell you enough information, but not all of it. So it constantly has you guessing. And it's like you want to move forward, but you don't even know what direction to go. How does it make you feel, this block? I think that you know for sure that there's a level of light that's put that sh that's on this where you already know that this person is connected with somebody else. And I feel like with the three of cups here and the devil, it's a very sexual connection. And I feel like also if you take a look at what's blocking you guys currently, the realty of it is what's in the center of your reading? The Queen of Pentacles, right? Now watch this. How does Sag feel about this Queen of Pentacles? How, how does how does this how does Sag feel about this Queen of Pentacles? Okay, the Emperor, but it's reversed. So let me ask one more time. How does Sag feel about this Queen of Pentacles? Romantic. The world. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. See, remember, the Seven of Pentacles was already there for your partner. One more time. Okay, let's see. It's something that you feel, something that you know that this person is holding on to, but it's like they're not expressing it to you. And the fact that there's no pentacles throughout the end, the, throughout your entire reading, it's only swords and cups. It's like you and this person have a great conversation. You guys have great chemistry. There is a level of emotional stability there but i also feel like too there is some type of like like ten of pentacles that's saturn and um or that's a uh, pisces mars and pisces and with the mars and pisces it's like there's a lot of illusions pertaining to what this could be and i feel like there's a lot that's being kept in the dark and i 100 percent feel like Either this person is married because the Empress is here. Let me ask one more time. How, how, how does Sag feel about this Empress? The Ace of Swords with the Hangman. Some of you guys may be pregnant too. And the Chariot. It's like somebody can't move on from a child of a mother or something like that. It's like there's something here where they're being held back either due to kids either because somebody is pregnant or because they're just not being honest about the commitments that they already have made. And I feel like for you, it's like you've been waiting for this person to make some type of effort to make something different here. Ace of Wands, right? But it's just, and it may just be a very sexual relationship. All right. What's coming in? Ooh, what's coming in for Sag romantically? What's coming in for Sag romantically here, Spirit? Okay, Five of Pentacles. What's coming in for Sag romantically? Wow, look how beautiful this is. It's the divine. Okay. For some of you guys, you may, oh wow, this is beautiful. You're going to be receiving some type of information here. Wow. 
possibly from a Leo or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius possibly, Pisces is here, Leo is here, heavy, or a Capricorn. Here's, here's what I'm gonna tell you, okay? Because we're gonna get more into this, into the extended, but this lack of communication that you're having, something is changing here. And there is gonna be communication that is gonna stabilize whatever relationship, whether it's a new relationship, it's something that's coming in that's gonna make you very happy. So if you wanna know more about what's gonna come in to you, for you guys, where we take a deeper look into each one of these cards, as well as how does your person feel about you romantically? What do they want from you? Uh, what's, what uh, are they hiding? Their next actions, advice, and the outcome. Please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you guys can watch the extended. With that being said, guys, I love you so much and I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic next couple of weeks and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.